What's up beautiful houseplant friends? This is part two of my plant updates. The Sansevieria took a long time and that's mainly because I wanted to kind of explain to everyone how I care for them, what soil I use, how I rehydrated them and just how they're doing today. If you have not seen that video, you can click up here to see that video. And now we're going to continue this video with just regular houseplants, philodendron, anthurium, what else do I have over here? Some syngoniums. Also, don't forget to check out Brina and Mel on Etsy because they have created beautiful houseplant stickers for my channel. I absolutely love the stickers. Let me know if you find one that you like and you end up getting it. I would love to see pictures of where you put it and things like that. Let's get started. Okay, so I don't know if you all remember the TikTok video that I did a while ago of me acting like a fool dancing. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up at the top so you can see it if you want to. But I did feature this beauty in there. This is my Anthurium pendulifolium. Pendulifolium. I'm Pendifolium. It is up on the screen all spelled out and beautiful for you so you can search for this plant if you want it. I just really wanted to show you this new leaf. So here's this new leaf. I just wanted to show you how beautiful she is. It's just as big as the other leaves and it's still not done growing. You know how anthurium leaves come out really small and just get huge? So this is the first really pendant anthurium that I had that put out a new leaf. So the cool thing is, is if you can see how tiny this leaf is and each leaf has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And this one I expect to be much larger than the rest of them. Next. So you all might remember my Gloriosum. If you have been around on this channel for a long time, you remember this beautiful Gloriosum when I first got it. I had some issues. I broke off a new growth, a new growth point, and it just, it really broke my heart. But anyway, so here you can see she was attacked by that thrips outbreak. If you want to hear me talk about my thrips outbreak, you can click up here. I'll link the video for you. Just to show you how amazing that systemic insecticide was, this is the damaged leaf, okay? And then here is the brand new one after eradicating thrips. Look at that. I love striking white, glowy veination. It's just amazing. So anyway, that's really what I wanted to show you is just how much damage the thrips did to the other leaf. And I'm also going to show you my um, philodendron pastazanum because that one was the one that was hit really, really hard, but it does have a new leaf, I'll show you. So that's the damage. And so that was really disappointing, but Shortly after that thrips outbreak, this beautiful leaf came out. So I think it also, if you can see, has a point of growth right here. So anyway, that's it. Okay, moving on. So I promised you all I would update you on that import that I got. If you didn't see the import video, I'll put it up above for you to watch that. And then now you can kind of see what everything looks like. Everything, mind you, only three have survived, I think. Yeah, only three. So it wasn't that great of an experience, but I could not be more grateful that at least this Anthurium vitarifolium survived. This is an update. She is beautiful, she is healthy, she is thriving, and there's even a new leaf right here. And I just realized that actually. Look at that monstrous root right there. <laughs> So yeah, this one is doing very well and I, I don't expect the new leaf to be really anything crazy, huge or beautiful. It might even be a little tiny and shrivelly. Basically, I expect it to look unhealthy because of the amount of stress this plant went through. But I just wanted to give an update and let you know that it did survive. Here she is doing well and um, I couldn't be happier because this was really the only one I wanted anyway, to be honest with you. So there's that. Let me grab the other two. So you might have remembered in that video, the Syngoniums, they were horrible. I mean, I had to cut off every single leaf. Syngoniums do not ship well. What I will tell you is that it does not mean that is the end of its life. Remember me saying syngoniums are really resilient, so I'm not gonna throw it away? Well, here we have two semi-healed little syngoniums. So I'm actually really, really excited because the fact that these went from barely even a viable node 
to growing leaves is just freaking insane to me. So if you have a situation where you get a syngonium in the mail and you still have a node or roots or anything, try to put it in soil, try to treat it just like a regular plant, see what happens. Seriously, look at this. Look at that, it's so freaking cute. I know you could hardly tell what it is, but I believe this one is the Syngonium Alba, which I already have a huge pot of it. So this would just be an additional little one. And then this one, this is the Syngonium Army. Okay, can you see that? It's just, you know, got different types of greens on it. I'll just, I'll keep you all updated as it grows and let you know how everything is going. But if you look at that, that's pretty freaking amazing compared to what these look like by the end of my last, or by the end of my import video. This is a huge, huge upgrade, lots of progress. So I thought I would show you because it makes me so freaking happy. So if you all remember, this is my Anthurium bullatus. I did an unboxing of these, I think. If I can find the video, I'll put it up there for you. It was pretty old, I think. Okay, so if you remember, this had these little holes in it from honestly me just letting the plant dry out or letting the soil dry out while this leaf was coming out. But check this one out and now look. And it's still not done growing. As you can see, it's really flimsy and pretty translucent. It has not hardened off yet. So I'm really excited to see how big it's gonna get. So this is the size. I'm trying not to damage it. So it's bigger than my head. No, I'm so awkward with head tests. Like, what is this? A lot of my anthuriums are getting really tall. I'm starting to really dislike terracotta for anthuriums. I might do a whole video on it when I update all of these pots in here. I'll just let you know. I'll let you know what ends up happening. But anyway, I wanted to show you the Anthurium bellatus, my new leaf. And I just love this. I think that is amazing right here. Just like this really wide sinus right here. And then these lobes touching is just the freaking cutest thing to me. I love it. Love everything about this plant. My Anthuriums are doing really well right now, which is super strange. All right. This is the Hoya Macrophylla. Look at that. The most beautiful thing about these, in my opinion, is just that red outline. Right where that margin of white starts, it's amazing. I really thoroughly enjoy this plant. And, and my favorite, I don't have an example for you right now, but you may have seen in one of my other videos that these leaves come out like these little pink leaves and they just grow to be these beautiful things. These are really waxy and it's kind of hard to not get a glare, but if you can see that veination, wow. I love that veination, it's so amazing. This is by far my absolute favorite Hoya. So favorite Hoya, period. All right, got another Hoya for you. So this is the Hoya obovada. Wow, I have not said plant names in so freaking long. I feel like I'm going insane. Because mine are sun stressed, you can see the little pink specks. They have these silvery specks on them. Okay, but when they become sun stressed, if you can see, they become a little pink, which I just think is the cutest thing. It's like pink polka dots. So this has actually grown a lot. So it was really only a few leaves down here. I think I wanna say four or five little leaves and it was a propagation and I just wanted to show you cause I'm really proud of the growth on this thing and I love these pink specks. I mean, how freaking cute is that? So Hoya obovada, I think that this one is really underrated to be honest with you. I mean, look at the leaf shape, circular leaf shape with little silver specks. It's a cutie. So I just thought I would share it with you. Because I have not filmed this video in so long, some of these flowers are dying off. Most of them have died off. But this is my Black Pagoda lipstick plant. And I got this one in my Black Owned Plant Shop video. If you have not seen that, I'll put it up here if I have enough links left. But would you look at that? That is the cutest thing. It has been blooming for a long time now. Look how freaking cute that is. A lot of you all enjoyed the undersides of these leaves, so I thought I would show them again, but doesn't that look like it's glowing? It's insane. It's just so freaking beautiful. Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant. Oh, oh. No, I did not just trip over my tripod. I almost forgot to show you my Philodendron Pasta Xanum. Okay, so you can see that thrip damage. Look how horrible that was. 
Uh, this one got hit the worst, but that systemic insecticide that I used really did work. There's another leaf that was pretty badly damaged, but not too bad. So anyway, just like the philodendron gloriosum, look at that new leaf. Thank God those thrips have not had a chance to attack this leaf because it's just, it's gorgeous. All right, friends, that is all I have for you. Those are all of my plant updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't see part one, go check it out. I'll link it up here somewhere. All right, friends, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye. So here is this new leaf and it's just as big as the other ones and still is that flimsy. You know when Anthony, it just unrolls and un it, it, it's so freaking cool. So anyway, what is up with this lighting? So just to show you how amazing that systemic, that veination always amazes me. I love striking white variegation. I think it also, if you can see, has a point of growth right here. Oh, oh, so anyway, that's it. Okay, moving on. So I promised I would update you all. Oh, I just got to see. Okay, so wow, my hair is what in the heck? If you can see that variegation, I know this, it's so freaking tiny, but I didn't even realize. I mean, I just kept watering them and then here we go, little leaves. If you remember this leaf right here, wait, can you see it? Yeah. Wait, let me get a better angle. <laughs> Up at the top, I think that is so beautiful. Focus camera. Okay, whoa. Or macrophyllum. I'll put the right one. I always get that mixed up. Macrophylla or macrophyllum. Anyway, just wanted to show you these pretty leaves and this huge tendril. I don't know where it's going, what it's doing, but living its best life.